Nigeria, uh, Bankers of Nigeria as the human capital manager of the strategy. And one of the things we have been asked to do, one of the pillars of the human capital strategy is to attract talents from overseas. Nigerian talents that are spread across the globe. And to also ensure that with the spread of the Nigerian banks across Africa, we ensure that our people are professionally competent and well skilled for the dynamics of this profession. No wonder recently, just about two weeks ago, the challenges of Bankers of Nigeria, United Kingdom branch, hosted the first Nigerian International Bankers Conference and also uh, inducted fellows in London, about 54 of them. I believe you should give a round of applause for the incident. And one of the major uh, events of that particular conference was to sign an MOU with the Italian Institute of uh, Investment and Securities CIA, to first invite the regional director of Crown Agents to talk to us briefly, after which you will watch a video for just about five minutes of the chief executive of Crown Agent, uh, who will talk to us and we will then execute the MOU. My pleasure to welcome Mrs. Sakoma Comfort, the regional. My name is Comfort Sakoma, as he mentioned. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Shea, the regional director for West Africa of Crown Agents. Um, as he mentioned, uh, we opened our first office here in 1901, and we've been working in Nigeria for well over 100 years. We've been in existence as an organization since 1833. And for those of you who are not familiar with Crown Agents' history, um, essentially we were, in 1833 till about the 1970s, the sole procurement agent of the British government and all the colonies. And so for every single sort of British, or what we'd call today the Commonwealth, we managed all their procurement um, and, and so on and so forth for over 100 countries. Um, today, we have, we're very proud to, to share that over the last 50 years in Nigeria, we've chained well over 58,000 civil servants um, in this country and across Ghana, Sierra Leone, and, and a variety of other countries. So before I make um, my brief remarks, I'll begin with a message from our uh, CEO, Fergus Drake, who would have really loved to be here with us today, but unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, is in Singapore uh, working at our office there. And so please, a message from our CEO, and then I'll make some brief remarks. Thank you. The FCID President and Chairman of the Council, the team of office holders, Governing Council, Mr. Sayer Wujobi, FCIB, Registrar and Chief Executive of CIB. Distinguished banking professionals, government functionaries, diplomats, academics, ladies and gentlemen, millennials, and ladies and gentlemen of the press. My name is Fergus Drake, and I'm the CEO of Crown Agents. My apologies for my absence. I really wish I could be there with you today, but I'm delighted to announce the signing of a memorandum of understanding between Crown Agents and the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. Through this partnership, we will be working with the CIBM to assist in their commitment to the institutionalization of best practice in banking and to support their role as the arrowhead of capacity building in banking education in Nigeria and beyond. My colleagues were delighted to be invited to attend CIBN's first Nigerian International Bankers Conference and Fellowship Investiture Ceremony held outside of Nigeria in London only recently. A historic step and reflective of their truly international focus and sphere of influence. 
The CIBN has paved the way for capacity development through its numerous bespoke professional development training programs, competency framework management, and knowledge transfer to its members in the entire banking industry in Nigeria, Africa, and across the globe. The 22nd edition of the World Conference of Banking Institutes is a testament and reference point to the rich content and resource persons who graced the occasion in April 2017. This MOU draws on the strength of Crown Agent's 185-year history, including more than 100 years of working in Nigeria, with the Institute's 55-year heritage at the forefront of professionalism and ethics in the banking and finance industry in Nigeria. It's also the exciting next chapter in Crown Agent's long story in Nigeria, from building Lagos's Carter Bridge to more recently helping install over 200 off-grid solar systems for schools and health centres in Lagos and Kaduna State and supporting a better start for Nigeria's children in northern Nigeria with the Maternal, Newborn and Child Health Programme for which we have procured £4.5 million worth of medical equipment and pharmaceuticals. We are proud to support Nigerians in accelerating their self-sufficiency and prosperity. Our commitment to Nigeria is for the long term, ably supported by our office, which has been one of our key global hubs since 1961. Under this partnership with CIBA, we look forward to helping to train professionals from its member banks, building on our long legacy of building capacity within the banking sector. Crown Agency's training and professional development team is perfectly placed to do this. In existence since 1960, we have trained some 57,000 professionals in that time, encompassing dozens of staff from Nigeria's banking sector, including, in just the last three years, Central, Diamond and Zenith banks, as well as many other senior federal and state-level Nigerian officials. An example we are particularly proud of in Nigeria is the in-house training we delivered for the Central Bank of Nigeria in 2014. Through this project, we trained 600 staff in management skills, supporting the bank's commitment to nurturing their leadership potential. We also understand very well the benefits of forming long-term partnerships with the banking sector, relationships which have enabled us to gain an in-depth understanding of the key competencies and skills that need developing, including the vital areas of corporate governance, ethics, compliance, and risk management, and of course new developments such as FinTech. One example of our long-term partnership approach is our work with the commercial and national banks of Ethiopia, through which, since 2014, we have trained more than 1,000 staff from nearly all of the banks across Ethiopia. Just a couple of the capacity building projects we have undertaken in the last few years to support the banking sector with our training expertise. As the first step in our partnership, following the signing of the MOU, I'm excited to announce a pilot training course in ethics. So I'll just continue with what he was um, just about to sort of conclude. Um, in essence, I'll, I'll go through this and then we'll talk about the pilot program that he was about to announce. I'm very cognizant of the fact that we are here as part of an organization that has such a long and rich history. On November 28, 1963, 124 visionary men and women assembled at Randall Hall in Surlere to determine the future of a sector that they respected and eagerly wanted to preserve. They understood the power of partnerships to bridge knowledge, grow networks, and expand value. They carried with them a sense of conviction that if they knew better, they could do better. Like all champions, this group of talented people wanted only the very best for the sector, and so they formed the local Nigeria chapter of the Institute of Bankers London. Their mission was simple and profound, partner to achieve excellence in banking. 
On May 18, 1990, this commitment to excellence was crowned when the Nigerian government conferred upon the Nigeria Institute of Bankers the chartered status, beginning a revolution in quality of standards for the sector. Today, 55 years after its founding, it gives me great joy to join you distinguished men and women to announce this historical partnership between our two organizations, a partnership which I am confident will help to accelerate CIBM's mission of bridging the skills gap in the banking sector in Nigeria. By now, each of you should have received a copy of the flyer with details about the upcoming pilot program in November. Focused on governance, risk, and compliance, this three-day masterclass will be facilitated by international banking sector Duncan Hughes, who brings more than 25 years of financial sector experience and is the author of a number of publications in the fields of investment and financial risk management. We've set up an information booth right outside, and we certainly invite you to visit our booth and get any information that you need about the upcoming pilot course in November. Finally, I just want to congratulate the Governing Council, the executive team, um, and management for a successful outing, but even more importantly, for transforming the sector and in so doing, advancing Nigeria's significance in the international world of banking to the pride and glory of all Nigerians. May God continue to inspire, to provide, and to grow this all-important institution. Thank you. And so to join her up here, let me welcome the President and Chairman of Council, um, Dr. Uche Mize Ulu, FCIB, Mr. Sheye Awujobi, Registrar and CEO, and to also step forward here, and Chiru Pako.
Now we have an MOU between CIBN and Crown Agents Limited. Let's put a hand there for them, ladies and gentlemen. And so, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we'll move very quickly into our next plenary session. In fact, the final one before the closing, closing proceedings. And this will be focused on MSMEs as an integral part of the economic growth and recovery plan. Uh, I'm very happy to welcome here our chairman for this session and also the chairman of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group. Please welcome Sir Kerry A. Buka. Our guest speaker is a special, senior special assistant to the president on industry, trade and investment, Dr. Jumoke Oduwale, represented here by an equally very brilliant young man, Soji Akiele. Okay. Our panelists will include Mr. Anthony Okwanachi, Managing Director, Chief Executive Development Bank of Nigeria. Dr. Abmago Frank Ibeawuchi, representing Mr. Light Omudashiro, Director of Development Finance, Central Bank of Nigeria. <laughs> Mr. Ruben Kifasi, representing Ms. Yewande Sadiko, Executive Secretary, Nigeria Investment Promotion Commission. <laughs> uh, Mr. Tola Johnson, or a representative. All right. So without much ado, Mr. Chairman, over to you, sir. <laughs> 